you'll never guess what. They're at it again. Yes, this is Twaman. This week at Man United, your essential roundup of all social media news surrounding Manchester United. This week, transfers look to be actually happening. It's a miracle. Ed Woodward has found the checkbook. It looks like Ed Woodward is getting the beak in. Yes, Donny van der Beek is the man that is linked to Old Trafford. And it's come out of nowhere, this one. It almost seems like a transfer that United have got wrapped up within 24 hours. And I'm actually quite excited about this. It's actually a bit of shrewd business from United. And, you know, getting the beak in, it's always going to pump the energy up at Old Trafford. So I'm quite excited about that. Sorry, that'll be the last cocaine joke, I promise. I, I promise that's the last one. No, but genuinely, this is a good bit of shrewd business. And if you look at the signings that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has made at Manchester United, I would say every single signing he made has done what he was meant to do. I think they've all been pretty successful. Harry Maguire played every game for us last season. I know he flagged a little bit towards the end, but I felt like he was solid through the season. Aaron Wambasaka, for me, that's the best season from a right back I've ever seen at United, and that is saying something. So I'm quite excited about Donny van der Beek. Can't wait to see what he can do. Also, scored more Champions League semi-final goals than Manchester City have. Ever! Yeah, just the one guy has scored more than them, so I'm happy with it. Uh, you know what, as well, I'll say this, he seems like he's going to fit in with the team. He seems like a really nice dude. Check this video of someone recognising him out and about in Amsterdam. At Dunkin' Donuts, of all places as well. I love that, because he's halfway for a meal, someone's recognising him and showing him a picture of himself. I, I think that's too nice. Like, if that was me as a footballer, uh, uh, someone would tap on the window, I'd turn around and I'd say, Yeah. Do you want to fuck off? Donny van der Beek, I'm excited to see what he can do. Welcome to Old Trafford, my mate. <laughs> Should also specify, that transfer isn't confirmed yet. So if that one falls flat on its face, then yeah, just disregard that part of the video. Anyway, Patrice Evra is back at it. And this time he's not spanking a chicken on Instagram. That's right, he's doing what he does best. He is actually playing football. Uh, check this video. Give us a wave, Patrice. Give us a wave. Patrice, give us a wave. Whipping. Cheeky. Patrice Evra playing a bit of non-league. I absolutely love to see it. In fact, Patrice... You know where I'm going with this. United are desperate for a left back. Well, in my opinion, we are. Like, who have we got? We've got Brandon Williams, who's a child. Like, he's quite good. He's promising, but he is a child. And then we've got Luke Shaw, whose arse is so big, planets gravitate around it. So, like, Patrice, if you want to be a left back for Man United, you're looking better shape than most of our lot. So you're welcome back. <laughs> I really should stop body shaming Luke Shaw. He's going to watch these videos one day and uh, that guy's built like a brick shit house compared to me. He'd beat seven shades of shit out of me. You know that bit in the Avengers where the Hulk grabs Thor and starts ragdolling him about? That would be Luke Shaw and me, I think. Also, uh, one social media trend which has come from TikTok, which I like. Uh, I really like the look of. I hope that all football clubs start doing this. Uh, I'm just surprised that they did it about their own player. You might have seen this. Leicester City absolutely roasting the fuck out of Soyuncu. Check this! Like, he does look like Lord Farquaad though, doesn't it? And he does show that he's, he's up for a laugh. But he does look like him. It, it's the chin. That's what I think it is. I think it's the chin. I think United could do this with some of our players, you know. Like, players that we have that look like other people. Like, we could do it with uh, Luke Shaw and Jake Paul. We could do it with David De Gea and Alama. We could do it with Harry Maguire and a fridge freezer. The opportunities are endless here. Manchester United social media team, get on TikTok. We are so close to the release of the Amazon uh, All or Nothing documentary that they did about Tottenham last season, which I think could be some of the greatest football sports media we have ever seen ever. Uh, you remember last season for Tottenham, right? Pochettino was sacked, Mourinho came in, made a bit of a balls of it. Some players weren't happy about it. He had players training on a field when there was a worldwide pandemic going on. Like, honestly, it's going to be a, a drama 
film documentary this. I cannot wait for it. But you may have seen this clip, which has gone online, which has had lock off. Love it. In fact, you know what? That that actual footage, you may have noticed like the, 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 the audio in the background, the people on TV talking, that has actually been dubbed in. Um, we've got our hands on the original footage that Amazon did shoot of what Mourinho was actually watching and what he actually told to fuck off. Check this. Hey, you'll never guess what? They're at it again! Fuck off. Oh yeah, and Pogba's got Corona. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. We need to talk about this, don't we? Um, Pogba's got coronavirus. Turns out dabbing wasn't an effective preventative measure against coronavirus, eh? Um, no, but genuinely, I'm smiling, but nothing to be happy about, is it? He's clearly going to be a bit poorly for a week or two, but he's poor Pogba. Look at him. He's an absolute Adonis. He's going to recover and he's going to be fine after coronavirus. But I just hope he doesn't come back to the Man United squad too early and potentially infect the rest of the team. Be a bit of a Rona donor, if you will. Uh, but I hope he recovers, hope he's better soon, and I hope we see Paul Pogba back on the pitch. But annoyingly, he's probably going to miss the start of the season because of this, isn't he? Which is a bit annoying, but main thing, hope he gets better. But I have been thinking, right, since that Paul Pogba news, did you see this video that was put up on social media about a week ago? How's that kid? <laughs> Has the track and trace system kicked in? Has that kid had a phone call saying a virgin met Paul Pogba last week? Yeah. Isolate for two weeks, mate. He's got the lurgy. Uh, I need to know. Kid, whatever your name is, I hope you're okay. Please get in touch. Um, also, uh, you may have seen this from the last couple of days. Bruno Fernandes being an absolute top bloke. You know some some footballers, when it's like pre-season, they'll go on holiday or something, do something to enjoy themselves, maybe get a bit of sun. Not Bruno Fernandes, he's only thinking about one thing, and that thing is football. He returned to one of his old clubs, Boa Vista, recently. Basically was taking shots at one of their youngsters. They surprised one of their 17-year-old uh, young goalkeepers with a shooting session with Bruno Fernandes. And Bruno held no prisoners. <laughs> Well done, he's 13. That has been this week at Man United. Chua Man, we will be back very, very soon. I'm sure that's the last regular Chua Man for now, uh, but it will be back very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, big up, Henry, for the edit. Thank you very much to Ben for sticking it on the All For United YouTube channel. And as always, thank you to the lovely Lottie, who has filmed all of these videos for me. Thank you very much, Lottie. It's been an honour. We will be back very, very soon. My name's Gaz Drinkwater. Follow me on Twitter if you want, at Radio underscore Gaz, and we'll catch you soon in a bit. Laters. Fuck off.